In the last chapter, Bert and Ernie had a mission. They have to go to the National Opposite Rules Agency so that they can get rid of the Opposite Rules chaos. How will they get there? Do they know how to get there? Will they travel east or west? Find out in this chapter of the Opposite Game Story. Before we begin, Bert and Ernie have a mission for you. If you have not checked out the last two chapters yet, go check them out. The links are in the description box below. Also, if you like this story, hit that like button. Bert and Ernie will be proud of you, and they will get to continue their story faster. Now, let's continue this story. Bert and Ernie have to find a way to get to the National Opposite Rules Agency. The agency is closed, but Ernie remembered something. When he called the agency earlier, the lady on the phone said that she wanted to get to Sesame Street. If Ernie travels beyond Sesame Street, he could probably find her. However, Ernie will need to trace the phone call so that he can find out where it came from. For this job, he will need to get help from someone who is clever. Ernie knew what he had to do, so he told Bert. Bert, I know how to find the lady on the phone. She told me that she wanted to get to Sesame Street, said Ernie. No one knows how to get to Sesame Street. I don't even know how I got here, said Bert. That does not matter, Bert. We have to find the lady on the phone, and Cookie Monster can help us, said Ernie. How, said Bert. When I was on the phone, I heard something. It sounded like the lady on the phone was eating cookies, said Ernie. This means that Cookie Monster can use his cookie abilities to hunt down where the call was coming from. Well, let's go find Cookie Monster, said Bert. Bert and Ernie roamed around Sesame Street. They could not find Cookie Monster anywhere. Then, the opposite sound went off. Ernie, we should hunt for Cookie Monster later, said Bert. The opposite sound went off again. No, we should hunt for him now, said Bert. Ernie noticed something. The opposite rules are not happening as frequently. What could this mean? It could be trouble, so Ernie had to act fast. Bert Cookie Monster is not on Sesame Street. I remembered that he told me that he wanted to beat Bobby Flay, said Ernie. Bobby Flay, said Bert. Yeah, the celebrity chef, said Ernie. Well, how will we find Bobby Flay, said Bert. Well, we'll need to catch a bus to Hollywood. There is a bus over there. Let's board it before it leaves, said Ernie. When Bert and Ernie got on the bus, the opposite sound went off. The bus driver is usually in a good mood. However, the opposite rules changed this. Foul afternoon, fellows, said the bus driver. Foul day, Mr. Bus Driver, said Ernie. Where do you fellows do not need to go, said the bus driver. We don't want to go to the place where Bobby Flay shoots beat Bobby Flay, said Ernie. Then, I won't take you there, said the bus driver. The bus did not move for hours. Then, the opposite sound went off. I can't believe that we just stood here for hours. Is Bobby Flay still available now, said Bert? He should be. If Cookie Monster is making his secret cookies, Bobby Flay should still be there because it takes hours to prep the recipe, said Ernie. Well, let's try this again. Mr. Bus Driver, we need to travel to the place where Bobby Flay is challenging Cookie Monster, said Bert. Oh, I know how to get there. I challenged Bobby Flay many years ago. I competed with a recipe for sugar, said the bus driver. What? There is no recipe for sugar. You grow sugar. It comes from a sugar cane, said Bert. I did not know that. When I tried to make sugar, I accidentally made salt, said the bus driver. This is nonsense. We don't have time for this. Please drive us to Cookie Monster before the opposite sound goes off again, said Bert. No problem, said the bus driver. The bus drove an inch forward and stopped. We're there, said the bus driver. Wait, you mean to tell me that Cookie Monster was a few inches from the bus stop, said Bert. Yeah, that will be $100, said the bus driver. What? Why? We did not go anywhere, said Bert. Well, when the opposite rules were in affect, the bus fare kept climbing, so now you dudes owe me $100, said the bus driver. Where are we gonna get $100, said Ernie. Bert and Ernie need help. Can they pay the bus driver? Will Cookie Monster beat Bobby Flay? Find out in the next chapter. If you like this story, hit that like button and subscribe. What recipe would you use to beat Bobby Flay? Leave a comment below.